Hello, Vision here. Um, back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a MOBA style uh, movement or something like Diablo. Uh, kind of like just like the right click or left click movement style. Um, so you're going to need a cursor, um, the character obviously, and the location point and just another active object that's like a uh, um, just it's for the controls for the character because the character is not actually what you control <clears throat> so first thing uh, after you make all these we'll go to the control node here and you're going to need a physics engine for this because you're going to make this a bouncing ball movement <clears throat> a physics version because the regular bouncing ball movement only has 32 directions but this can do it in basically any direction so it's more precise uh, so initial speed just anything uh, basically what you want the speed of the character to be uh, deceleration zero uh, density zero friction about 50 is good um, Elasticity zero, gravity scale zero, so your character is always staying in the middle, not falling or up or down. Uh, fixed angle, joint type none, and collision shape circle. Let's see, and then I have the smooth rotation and auto rotation, which I don't know if they matter, but I haven't selected. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing want to do is do a start a frame event and we're going to want to set the position of the location to the uh, control point and then when the control point collides with the location point, we want to stop the control point and destroy the location point. That's just so if, or wherever you place your character at the beginning, uh, they're not gonna just automatically start bouncing around or moving, uh, they'll just stay where they are. <clears throat> now, we want to have an always event. Actually, well, first I'm just gonna make the uh, other collision for this uh, backdrop and stop. Okay, always event, and we're going to set the position, the X position of the cursor to the X position of mouse. And we're gonna do that for the Y position. So Y coordinate to Y mouse. And what else? We need the set the position of the player to always be relative to the movement. And I think there's a few more always things I need. Let's see. Um, yeah, we always want the player to look in direction of the location point. And I'll do the same for this. Oops. Look in direction of location. Okay. So now we need to do when the user clicks. So when the user clicks, 
we'll do the right mouse button, I guess. Completely up to you. And we're going to insert when our picker count. Uh, compare number and it is equal to one. Okay. We're going to set its position relative to the cursor. And we're just going to copy that and paste it. And we're going to change this to zero. This one's equal to zero. We want to get rid of this and we want to create it. Create the location relative to the cursor. And uh, I need to set the speed for these ones. For the movement, uh, we want to set speed to whatever you want speed. I'm just going to put on 30. That's what I had the initial. And same for this one. Okay. So I think that is it. We can check it out. All right. Looks good. Now the reason I have the uh, two user clicks here, one for N, for when it's when there's already one on screen, it's just going to move the position of it. But when the character gets to it, it destroys it. So you need to create a new one. So when there's zero, it'll create a new one. If I just had it for create new ones, you're just going to be putting points all around the map. Um, so yeah, that is it. I guess you could hide Windows mouse pointer, I guess, beginning. There we go. So uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching.